Mariana's Trench, they dropped their new album, Haven. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, if we hypothetically spoke to them, um, you should watch that interview uh, if and when it, you know, hypothetically comes out. Um, Whatever. Yeah, it's, uh, you know may or may really not exist. nonchalant like if it does like exist it's nonchalant as fuck yeah you it, know? if it exists it'll eventually populate down in the description of the mm-hmm. review so mm-hmm. you know it'd be weird if that happened but so um big fan of this record um Absolutely. Had, had heard of their name before but never really um you know d- dove into them um and you 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 knew their name as well correct absolutely yeah yeah. So they um their last full length was before uh this podcast was even an idea. So um you know, we we probably would have wound up covering them if that if that was the case. But um so didn't really know what to expect going into it. And yeah. when it opens with this big theatrical fucking piece, mm-hmm. this fucking masterpiece, I'm like buckle in the fuck in i'm like yeah. what the fuck am i about to get myself into and this record is such a fucking roller coaster mm-hmm. um i love the way it opens and then you know it 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 toes the line of like this huge theatrical masterpiece mm-hmm. but along with these pop hits that you can just fucking groove to it toes Absolutely. that line so perfectly and it and the, the record flows so well well where it's not like you're you're getting going and then they're just like here's the singles you know and then we're back to it um Mm -hmm. you know it's it's such a moving piece of music and like you know the 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 intro and the outro which are the 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 big like it it goes throughout the entire record um but those are like the big um the big moments um you know they clock in at seven and eight minutes respectfully and i saw that listening through the record the first time and i'm like there ain't a way in hell you're yeah. about to grab me for seven and then eight minutes. The record clocks in at like an hour. I'm like, there's no mm-hmm. way in hell. I, I I didn't even feel the hour go by. No, it's it literally came in when I've listened to this album maybe like four times all the way through and it never feels like a full hour. Yeah, um, it feels like a half hour record. And I I don't know. It's like a 50 50 shot of me actually like acknowledging track lengths unless it's like the entire record is like six minutes each track and it's like obnoxious as fuck. So I didn't even realize that the opening and closing track were over six minutes long. And so that just shows that like, damn, they did a fucking great job. Um, I have been aware. I can't say I'm a fan. I've been a fan for that long. But with this album out and the hypothetical nonchalant interview that may or may not have happened, um, I am now a fan. But I have known of this band since, fuck, maybe like 2017, 18? I don't know, somewhere in that area. Um, Just Spotify radio, um, their songs would come up a lot just because of the type of music that I was listening to. Um, And I was really getting into the scene around that time and kind of figuring out like alternative music, rock, whatever the fuck. Um, I do believe they were a little punkier, heavier back then. So my, I haven't listened to the couple songs that did pop up in radio. I'd be able to pick them if I saw them, but it's not, this album is not at all the sound that I remember from them. So that caught me off guard a little bit. The first time I listened to the record, I was like, okay, this is a little more theatrical, a little not theatrical, a little um, more, God, what is that word? It's just very like a uh, soundtrack-esque mm-hmm. where it's just kind of theatrical, I guess theatrical, theatrical works, but not, yeah. but not in like theater way where it's like fucking crown the empire shit, you know, mm-hmm. but in a type of just, it's big and mm-hmm. it's catchy and it makes you want to move versus kind of like the more angsty music that i'm pretty sure they used to make maybe they were like this the entire time and i'm just i'm just talking shit but um hearing just the full record a couple times all the way through i think it is incredible um i think you nailed it it's it it flows incredibly well um it takes you on a really good journey i believe it is it is a concept record Mm -hmm. um I couldn't tell you the concept off the top of my head. I, I know it's right based here. off of a book. I got it oh, right okay. Here. Go yeah. for it. Go it's for it. Uh, inspired by Joseph Campbell's book, The Hero's Journey, and it's inspired by the plot points that are highlighted, highlighted like uh, um, throughout each hero's journey. 
Um, yes. Yeah. So like um, Star Wars, just kind of you meet a mentor, you fight some big cause, just that type of thing. Yeah. So they had sure. that outline like for the track list thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is that's really fucking cool. I always love when bands um, do concept records, especially something like this, where it is kind of a movie soundtrack esque. So that is the vibe they're going for. See, it's all it's all clicking now. It all makes sense. Yeah. Um, I loved it a lot. Again, did not feel like an hour. Great sound, great production, and genuinely just a very vibey album. Yeah. Yeah. Wholeheartedly agree. This record mm -hmm. was fucking awesome. Great, great first um, dive into them and yeah. definitely need to go back and check out the rest of their stuff. But I'm a big fan of this. Yeah. And it's not normally something that I would go out of my way to check out. Or if mm -hmm. I did, I'd be like, what the hell is this? And probably just turn it off, you know, after yep. the, you know, halfway through the first song, someone was like, dude, you should check out Mariana's Trench, your new record's sick. I'd be like, what the fuck are you recommending me? But like, why it, is the first track seven minutes? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking awesome. I'm a big fan. Um, you know, they're, they're going to be out on tour, uh, tour in Canada and the U.S. So mm -hmm. if it's hitting the market near you, you should definitely check it out. The support is fucking sick. There's mm -hmm. um, Cassie Pope on dates grayscale's on some dates lolo's doing the um the canada leg so the the good. the support's fucking dope so definitely mm -hmm. um check it out if if it's coming near you mm -hmm. i fuck heavy with all of those people so that's actually i wish it was coming towards me but it's <laughs> not at all 